Hi, this is Vilna Furstenberg and welcome to a brand new video on my blog. Um, this was the last video that I actually made for Two Piece in a Bucket, but they closed down. So now I'm going to share it on my blog. If you have any questions regarding the two piece closure, um, check for my blog. I will have some updates there. I'm still very sad about all of this. I'm trying to work through it. Um, definitely going through some high emotions. All the cut files that I'm using today was available for the love mini workshop that I did for two piece in a bucket. So if you have that workshop, just go to your downloads. They are there. And if you don't have it, you can find it on iHeartStudio.ca. And they're just cute, cute speech bubbles. And um, I cut them out of watercolor paper, which is nice and thick. So I'm, I did a double cut. And now I'm just going to paint them with, um, with chalkboard paint, which gives them a lovely matte black background. And then we're going to be writing on them with a white pen. And so it's so, so easy. So um, I'm just covering them nice and black so that they're dark, not, um, you can't see any lines. Sometimes you might even have to give them a second uh, coat, but that's okay. It just takes time. And then I also painted some with a, uh, with wash but in the end I didn't use those colorful ones I used the black ones and one of the gray ones just a note about the gouache it's lovely to work with um, I always mix a little bit of gesso in my gouache because it makes it a little chalkier and even if I when I wrote with a white pen on that gray piece of um, speech bubble that painted with gouache it was a little coarser than the blackboard paint, but it worked wonderful. So I think you can make these speech bubbles as bright or as dark as you want to. So that's the first step is just to paint them all and you can make them any colors you want to. So now you can see I'm stacking them and this is probably the idea that I'm going to work with. The next thing is I'm going to take lots of stickers from my stash and I have, you can see how many sticker sheets I have and I'm, I'm betting, thinking that I'm not the one with the most sticker sheets because I'm absolutely someone that advocates using stuff. So um, I went into my stash and I found a bunch that's not used up and I decided to cover um, to add lots of stickers so it's a very very fun page to make the photographs I'm adding it with uh, with photo corners because what's easy then you can just remove this the photos if you want to um, if, if you need your photograph removed like if you want to add paint splatters or stuff like that so I'm absolutely just going randomly. I don't have any rhyme or reason for what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just sticking down stickers and I'm going to overlay them. And in the end, some of them are going to get lost totally. And that's fine with me. So you see now I'm starting to think maybe the red and the blue and the green is a little too much. But I thought the pinks and the greens would work because of Jana's pink shirt in the photograph. So this is a very fun exercise. Also with the photo corners, you can see I can get behind the photograph because it's not stuck down on the paper, which is super cool. It's a very cool idea. Some dear Lizzie stickers. And sometimes you can't find the right place for any sticker anyway. And you can see how I'm just placing it. I'm looking where does it look good. And sometimes I put it back like that one. So one of my friends started a new job and I'm going to make her a little 
survival kit for a new job and I'm going to use these um, speech bubbles as as the notes on the packages which is a very cool idea so you can use them for so many things you don't only have to scrapbook with them you can make um, cards with them so it's such a cool thingy to to have and to use so you can see how I'm layering stickers. The first one that I put down is totally covered now. And this is a really cool way to get rid of some of your stash anyway. Moving on, we're going to, um, I'm just going to use some hot glue and stick down the the speech bubbles and just a little bit of hot glue at the back of each one of them and that way I know for, for a fact they won't ever fall off my page so that's the whole idea and then I'm going to use a white jelly roller pen and just write on my speech bubbles so really not a lot of um, rocket science here. The I Heart You is also a cut file that you can find on Two Piece in a Bucket and in the digital store. And it's also was a part of the um, Love Mini Workshop. So if you have if you're a student there, you don't have to buy it. It's part of your class. Right, and I'm just going to draw around the edges with my white jelly roller. I love this white pen. In fact, I've never had a white pen that writes so well on black than this one. I've had it for a couple of years and it just writes every time. So... I'm going to um, just cover the edges and it's super easy. It looks well, wonderful. It looks almost like a, a cartoon. And that's the idea that I wanted on this page. It's just to have like a cartoon, happy and fun page. So I'm forwarding the video a little. Because sometimes it's hard for me to talk while I'm writing. I'm just kidding. And I'm just going to write on every speech bubble something different. So um, this will be the, the title page. And then I'm just writing a note to my girls. You can see how easy that this pen is writing on the blackboard paint. Which is amazing. And that's the um, the gouache, the speech bubble that I painted with gouache. And like I said, the texture is a little more coarse, but it's still so pretty. And there's the page. So now I'm going to, because I work, uh, wrote with white on black, I'm going to write with black on white as well. So I decided to trace the title and just give it that cartoon look again. And that's literally how simple this page is. A couple of special um, elements, the speech bubbles, and and I think the stickers makes it also playful. And now I'm just going to cut a little bit off the edge of the page. You can see I'm just eyeballing it. And now I'm just going to mount it to this um, Maggie Holmes background paper. But I wanted the polka dots to show. So I folded it over a little bit more.
and then I decided to cut off more. And the polka dots also just adds to the fun and the whimsicalness of the page, if that's even a word. And I'm just adhering it. So once it's adhered, I'm going to um, just distress the edges a little bit and then I'm going to take a tiny attacher and just staple one or two pieces um, down and then you can see the polka dots then so you can see there I'm just stapling it and just a little bit of um, detail Thank you so much for watching this video on vilnaf.com and on my YouTube channel. Um, this month that's coming up for July and maybe the half of August, the first half of August, I'm working on a very exciting project. So I have a couple of guests that's going to be standing in for me. And don't panic. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just working on furiously working on some wonderful things. So I'll see you on the interwebs and take care. Bye.